Rome's unjust conquest of Carthage might just be the biggest atrocity in history. What if it never happened? What if Carthage prevailed as it rightfully should have? Oh, what's that? A new EU format from my buddy Chewie, who you should definitely subscribe to. This is Post Phenom, an alternate history mod that explores what happened if Carthage won the Punic Wars. Carthage is in a bit of a decline at this point, so today we're going to be trying to restore it to its former glory with unique mechanics and a spectacular mission tree. The mod comes out on the 19th, so go check it out. Make sure to subscribe to Chewie once again. He's a great guy. Makes good stuff. So in this world, Carthage uh, won the Punic Wars, but is on the decline and has been for some time. We are the sixth ranked great power. Uh, all of our little vassals are disloyal and frankly, everyone around us is a little bit scary. Still, we have a very, very well fleshed out mission tree. And the first thing I checked when I loaded into this mod, when uh, when Mr. Chewy himself, Chewbert, go check him out, obviously, uh, a fellow EU4 YouTuber, when he told me, hey, I'm making this mod, do you want to check it out? I said, yes. And I said, I was only going to make it, this is internally, I didn't tell him that, uh, if this was in the game, the Great Kothon. So the fact that this is here means that I'm actually making a video on it. Otherwise, I would have told you to uh, find me his full address. I'd have leaked personal information. It would have been bad. But we don't have to go down that route because fortunately, it's here. And I am very excited to make Carthage uh, great again. <laughs> if I can, of course. All right. So we're going to rival Egypt, who's bigger than us. Gaul, who's bigger than us. And Macedonia, who is also bigger than us, but just has a smaller army. Lots of unique stuff down here, including, for example, uh, war elephants. So if we finish aristocratic ideas, we get cavalry shock, as well as recruiting war elephants. So I do want to do that. There's other stuff like a colonial uh, Carthage down here. We have port stuff. This one's developing the Great Kothon. We have trade routes, some integration down here, naval building, and also army building. So quite a balanced uh, force here. We need manpower at least 50%. Don't have total army size at least 90%, which we don't have. I'm gonna make good use of the ancient Carthaginian tradition of uh, mercenaries for this. Let's start one of these uh, parliamentary debates. This is a special government type. We have Rabim, Rabim Kahal, if I'm gonna say it properly. <laughs> this guy's actually pretty good. Despite the, well, he has a diplomatic reputation, which isn't great, but I mean, a 535 you can't really argue with. And over here, we have a balance of power between the Darim and the Sufet. Sufet were like a sort of judge-based system. Well, that's what it translates into. It, yeah, anyway, it, it's not as, I don't know. I feel like a lot of, <laughs> I'm gonna have a go at the West and Rome here, but a lot of uh, our ideas of democracy and stuff are based on those sorts of models, whereas the Carthaginian one was a little bit different. There you go, there's a little description there. Central legislative body of Carthage comprised ruling noble elites, which are led by the council of the Adrim, who ultimately collaborate with the Sufet to govern the nation. It's a bit of a weird one. With the Sufet in power, it's a bit we start losing some of our Republican tradition, uh, which obviously is bad because re-election. I think I'm gonna go for a Adrim in power. That's the plan, at least. We are on the brink of disaster. Oh, Christ. How do we stop that? We start with minus two stability. I haven't touched this game. It expires in 20 years. 20 years? Ah, Jesus. Okay, we can do this. Uh, first off, let's get a deity. And we're going to get uh, Liberty Desire from Subject Development, minus 25% and some diplomatic reputation. And if possible, we'll also get a Dip Rep Advisor. We are also going to take Rio Council. We're going to need that Miltech Advantage. Strong Duchies. You know, the same culture is not bad. Oh, I also want to show off that. So culture, we've got Punic down here. Everyone else has their sort of independent one. But the most important thing is the Punic faith has been spread. There are tiny little areas that are Christian. Um, there are no denominations. There are just, there's just Christian. We've got Hellenic over here. We've got Romana. Oh, each province. Ah, oh, you can see what deities they are. Uh, oh, that's really cool. I don't know if that's the mod or the base game. I'm going to assume it's the mod. That's, that's awesome. Albania, or what we would consider to be Albania, is Jewish as well. Quite cool. Oversight. This is going to give us more diplomatic reputation. Or at least trying to stack that as much as possible. Huh, national test modifier minus 10%. We get mystery strength and yearly prestige. That's actually quite good later on. Same thing over here. These are some really cool about the um, estate privileges. National test modifier plus 10%. Okay, let's just grab that off the bat. Literally no reason not to. Have a fleet equal larger to Egypt. We can do that. Commissioner biography. Huh, cool. Renovate the Silk Road the African way. What does that mean? Adam and Tickle East 8. Uh, trade Depot, have some cash, and then we can have a Silk Road, but <laughs> this way. Separation of powers. <laughs> Couldn't tell an American made this. We have to have our distinct <laughs> branches of government that cannot be allowed to fit. It's a very good way of <laughs> governing a nation. 
to be very clear. I joke about it being American, but also fair. <laughs> Now, should we actually play some uh, some EU4? Income from vassals and annexation cost. I'd rather have, ooh, skill three. It's only 25% cheaper though. Mm, I'd rather have anything that will help out, like make them loyal. Gain of stability, I'd, I'd take that to be honest. There we go. Do that immediately and then I'll just be handed out. Let's see, integrate the tribes. You just have to basically annex your vassals, okay. Admiral, does that do anything for us? Just claim some Corfu and some combat ability and then preparing the invasion force okay 10 galleys we can start our way doing that one the rest of them we kind of just have to wait for we can't really do any of these missions immediately this we need tech for securing ports we just need to you know own things okay well let's build some galleys when we can then Lines off from Seuss. i don't really want to ally at all another month's tick we can kind of maybe get some of these down there's marrakesh all these guys over there want an alliance Ugh, bro disgusting but we dealt with them like we already have, I didn't even see these guys over here. Another 10k. To stop paying our troops and our forts for a little bit. That's never a good, never a good thing to say when you're on the brink of disaster, huh? When the game specifically told you you're on the brink of disaster. I can't like get a bunch of people to become my vassals a little slight, because we could play the diplomatic game. Fazan and Yarib. Fazan's a good one. That's four provinces, but you know what I mean. <laughs> the great naval power of Carthage only has three galleys. <laughs> oh my god, the Carthage is an end node. He changed the, he changed the, the trade. You beautiful bastard. He did it. Oh, I'm going to shout out your channel till the day I die, Chewie. The expulsion of the Scarlet Delegation. What the hell? It was a nation just called Italia. The, in 1443, the great force, uh, the force of the Grand and his allies known as the Grand Alliance invaded Italian sector, glorious once, once glorious capital of Milan. So much they had to change its name. Oh, Scarlet Delegation will be revoked from the entry party. Cool. Nice. Wait, every Punic military Federation. What's Wait, this involves us? Grand Adarim. Is that us? No. Why Why are we involved? The Federation. I think the Federation's Gaul, isn't it? Who's the Federation? Is it the... I mean, there's a federal seat there. Wait. It's the Empire. It's called Hannibal? Oh, that feels upsetting. Okay, so Rome is going to fight... Huh. I didn't expect this. But it makes sense. They are an elector. Let's see what they do about this. That's so many allies. Oh... That's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll do that when the time comes. For now, like I said, let's just focus on uh, sorting out our armies and such. Okay, nice. We got uh, a state agenda done. Okay, and that should be our mission done. How much governing capacity do we have? A lot. Okay. This should, in 30 days, give us Sicily. Or like, the claims on Sicily. Once I get a general, which I can make out of my ruler. Okay. Prepare the invasion force. We marshal our forces ready them for a campaign that reshaped the balance of power in the Mediterranean. That's the plan. And a hundred military power, which does not hurt one bit. Oh dear, that means I have to fight. That's, that's a fort. Uh, I don't know if I could fight. Yeah, I can't fight that. Jesus Christ. Revivally, babe, they just want me to go straight in. Okay. Sardinia I can fight, I think, because of the navy. Oof, this is rough. But if I can land here and blitz it, should be okay. I don't know how confident I am in that, though. Let's check navally what people are saying. Not seeing Sardinia has a comparable navy to us. Oh god. Um, let me think about this. I could drop eleven troops on there and then eleven more. We can barrage it and assault, and then hope the navy can hold them off. Uh, I think I'm gonna do it. Tech's about to come up. Let's do it. Why not? Well, we'll lose. That's why not. But it'll be fun. Okay. Rome is inheriting people. I'm not risking half of these things. I'm risking Rome getting more powerful. It seems like a terrible idea. Okay, we should grab ourselves a worthy navy. I don't know if we need Crete. We could do that easy. But again, I, I, I really want to grab hold of the Italians first. Okay, so if I go here, how long does it take me? They'll get one tick, two ticks before I land. And I think that's too much to assault. <clears throat> so, but we, I mean, bloody hell, we can see, can't we? This is morale guy. Invite a scholar. Cool. Uh, yearly prestige. It's actually pretty useful. Okay. Okay, we need to time this to perfection. Declare war on the slot. It's gonna call everyone else in. Wait, maybe we should, I think I need to declare war on these guys first, even though it causes way more people, just because I need that province. Yeah, I, I don't think we can do it. What we can do is probably declare war on this lot. I guarantee by Macedonia, but I can land troops on Corfu, unless that's a fort. Island hopping, Crete, and Corfu. Okay, we need to be able to build up our forces for a little bit. Oh, our, our vassals aren't disloyal anymore. Okay, cool. Let's roll marry them. Just destroy them navally real quick. And I don't want to play this like all-out conquest. I'm going to try to stick uh, to what we're doing here. Okay. I want the balance of power to be more in favor of this lot, but 
I am gonna do this just for the simple fact that he's gonna be a six for six. Oh, that's that's too good. I'm sorry. So Achaia and Epirus is who are fighting. Can I see any of their troops? Okay, they've got a decent amount of troops just sitting there waiting. We could probably grab like 11k and, and, and start working on Achaia. Provided they don't have tech four. Okay, they don't. But just in case, we'll grab the rest of them as well. I'm not sure how to break this nut. It's it's yeah. It's gonna be rough to try and challenge both of the like the entire Italian peninsula at the same time. I think I just gotta outgrow them. Or actually wait for presumably oh geez, that's a lot of troops. Uh get a lot of galleys actually. Um presumably wait for uh the Romans to start annexing them and sort of let them do my their job uh my job for me. Okay, don't lose any galleys. This is getting rough. We're gonna need a uh flagship. Because everyone around us, we have to have a at a least 30 or so galleys to be able to fight that. Because each independent state over here is gonna have one or two. So they're gonna have like 30 to 40 galleys, I think. I sat there in the ledger and did a bit of counting. I did it off camera because frankly, I want people to watch my videos and I don't think that they will if I'm just sitting there, you know, counting uh, how many galleys or anything. Let's see how good our troops are comparatively. Okay, we're attacking them in the mountains, but we have a lot of morale. Okay, nice. Ooh, come on, form. Um, it's got to be Republican dynasties, right? Yeah, it has to be Republican dynasties. Sorry, uh, Republicanism, my bad. Uh, because, you know, I want to keep re-electing people. I'll just get them to steer trade to me and give me more operations. Makes sense. I wonder if any of the institutions have changed. I'd be surprised if they did. Oh, okay, that's good. So, integrate the tribes. I need 25 provinces, and I think that's just all of my guys. Gain stability, and I get claims of all of Mauritania. And then, okay, sure, sure, okay. I'm gonna start improve relations over on this side of things to try and get Fazan as a vassal. Egypt has the peasants war. We're losing money. Might be worth sitting in war. I mean, I'll actually I'll get the profit from there. Pirates of Eel. What does that mean? Eel will join the. Oh, for God's sake. They're getting stronger! Oh no. It's the HRE, but way worse because they're having massive federal authority. Currently 40 member states. That's what I was fighting. We're planning to fight. That's terrifying. I have a much bigger navy. I want to dominate the Mediterranean. Obviously, that is the plan. You have literally nothing. Um. Let's just do this. And Crete will just take you outright. Oh, what? You have more provinces? Oh, cool. Um, well, I'll, I'll take those as well, I guess. I can't make it a core. I guess just transfer trade power. Yeah, I don't I don't like how strong Rome is. They they feel stronger than me. <laughs> There's the Macedonians, uh, and we'll fight them. I'm just gonna nip in and take Corfu. Okay, I didn't bring any troops with me. Bit of an oversight, not gonna lie. Don't let them land troops on roads, please. Thank you. If I can't win like this naval battle, then there's literally no point in playing this game. <laughs> I think he's called for a Thomasiad against me. Is that very nice? That's a lot of ships. Why am I so navally weak? Ah, Jesus. All right, we're gonna have to try and pick off some of these guys. Did not mean to attack them there, but here we are. This could get dicey. So here this guy gets tech four, it's over for me. Oh, I thought that was Byzantium. <laughs> I saw the purple, I was like, oh my God. <laughs> but I realized there's no Roman Empire in this one. So there's no Byzantium. Well, there's Roma, but that's not really the Roman Empire. And they're friendly to me. They would take an alliance. That sounds kind of cursed. I'm not opposed to it. All right, we've won that siege. Let's see if they go and take it back. Nope, they're just slowly retreating. Okay, I'm gonna back up and upgrade my troops. I'm actually a big fan of this. Uh... Ooh, problem tradition? Yes, please. Election reform. That's great, that. Means I could just keep on electing my 666 general. That's not where I wanted to fight. I wasn't thinking, not gonna lie. I can assume I'll win that and then stack wipe them. Nice. Okay, and now we counterattack. That has gone remarkably well, exactly as I planned. Take one loss, fake them out, kill them all. Brilliant, just brilliant. I've done it again. Big naval engagement, this. Oh, they had a heavy ship. Now we have a heavy ship. Cool. Let's make sure war score by blockading that. And I think close to being done. So we could put some troops on roads so they can fight that. I assume we got take four by now, right? Yeah. We've got take five, so. But yeah, they'll fight this. Big fan of fighting smart, not hard. We're ahead of everyone in tech. Where the hell did you come from? Corfu and separatists? Dude! Not cool. Love to know what your fort defense is. What the hell is this? Cost 34%. Cool. Thank you. 28 days. All right, let's march around here. Both these are mountains. I don't really want to deal with that. Right now, Macedonia's on medium. So, guess let's just make him uh, be on left. Grab some extra score off him. Grab some cash off him. After all, it's not like Rome's going to be breathing down our neck sooner or later. 35%. They're on low. That should be enough for some cash. And some war operations. Thank you very much. Okay, so we have a lot of money. Uh, we also lose a lot of money because I've been improving the Navy slowly and steadily to the point where we have 37 ships uh, and we can have a force of not that many. So I'm thinking uh, we drop eight cogs 
to help with the financial situation. Upgrade Spikes a little bit, get some extra cash, and start building some buildings. Gain 4,000 manpower, which is very nice. Uh, we'll round out the claimed core. Wait, do I have cores on this? Ah, oh, son of a... I didn't realize I had cores. Means I can annex everyone instantly. Yeah, I should have done that. Did not realize that. Okay, that's fine. We live and learn. Devotion to the people. Yearly separatism minus five and yearly Republican tradition. That sounds awesome. Okay, so I need to do this in the right order. What I need to do first is peace out. Okay, so we peace out. We can commission a biography. That's nice. I kind of want to save my money for a sec though. Finish off island hopping, which gives us some uh, naval force limit, which is excellent. Okay, what I want to do first is this, which is going to make my vassals disloyal. We go through Tripoli. Uh, I'm going to pay off their debt and we can annex them. Should be done immediately, which means that I can do Algiers immediately. It should then drop you to being loyal, so then I can do Numidia. It's gonna t it should be immediate, but it's going to take me like three months or a year. That was very silly of me to not to do the revoke of one province. Okay, so once we annex Numidia, we can start doing some other rather nice things. I'm going to make a lot of money, which is nice. There we get an idea set. Now, I know I said I went through Aristocratic, but it genuinely might be a better idea to go naval. Because we need to fight this lot, and being able to just sort of, like... Island hop and defend our lands like that could be a shout. Well, the aristocratic gives us. Oh god. <laughs> I kinda want the, the, the elephant cavalry. We've got this like liberty idea stuff. Which is a new idea. Okay, quality incorporates both, so let's do that. And we'll get gallery cavalry <laughs> galley combat ability once we get cavalry combat ability. Alright, there we go. Integrate the tribes is done. We'll gain stability. Now we need to go west. Unless separation of powers. There's no reason not to do that. We're not even over our force limit. Okay, cool. So, we have lots of claims for the West. Claims over Sardinia and everyone else. Uh, so, let's start using them. Fight Fez quite easily. I'm tempted to do this and then call him Fez. Is there anyone I can diplomatically bring in? Yeah, actually, a lot of them. Fez, uh, let's see. Cephalonia, Euro, Fezan. Okay, well, Fezan we can do. Claim guarantee. And then off your vassalization. Game point eight eight every year, which is going to cover our costs in terms of our... Uh, deficit or declining. Basically, we have enough Republic tradition per year uptick to justify keeping on uh, our current guy. I don't know why that to be so long to say. Okay, let's see what they do here. I could just sort of stand and watch it. Uh, let's go ahead and send our cogs over here for when inevitably we need to to our Corfu and such. Yeah, I think I've accidentally made this lot way too powerful. Let me run the numbers. Okay, actually... Provided we don't summon any more diets, we should be okay. Once we win this, we collapse straight on this lot. Okay, we missed him. That's unfortunate. Ah, yeah, well, it's fine. Let's see. Hopefully, he'll go round. He can't get past this, so he'll just sit there. Okay, cool. That's what you lot are there for. Oh, I can just walk through. That's awkward. Okay, so this one's actually a lot better for us. We're going to do that. Wish your families are worried, losing stability. Cool. But we get our galley combat ability. So after this, we are going to be looking to fight the full extent of the Romans. Want to get morale of armies or live to desire? I mean, I think now is the time to go for morale of armies, really. Also, tech cost. That's a lot of tech cost reduction. Of course, that's pretty good. Fire damage and shock damage plus 10%. That takes down by 90. I'm going to use it. Dude, that tech cost is really high. 10% tech cost. I, I can't afford to say no to that. All right. Are we they're still suffering from the... Yeah, still suffering from the break of disaster. Okay. How much would it cost us to increase the stability to 2? 224. Christ. All right. So who isn't... Co-belligerent. Um, Bellica. Let's just get rid of all your allies. And you'll be out of here soon. They're just sitting there. This is like a bold tactic to win a war, I'll tell you that much. Ooh, both the autonomy changes and advisor. Cool. Just hired that guy and he's already dead. All right, fine. I'll take it this one. Wait, instead of, of the spy network construction, could we get ourselves morale of navies, potentially? Average monarch lifespan. That's kind of sick. Not necessary, though. I'm concerned that the, like, I like having different advisors. But I'm concerned that the fact that I can't choose them means I now have more to cycle through to get the ones that I want, which means there's no real point in me, you know, doing it. Wait, where was the Renaissance spawned in? Oh, of course it was Italy. Wait, how does that handle the Protestant side of things? Uh, printing press. Okay, it doesn't need to be Protestant anymore. Punic Albania. That is, I can't, that's kind of cursed, I'm not gonna lie. What the autonomy change? Nice. And reform progress growth. Yeah, we're gonna go for that. Novara is pieced out. Fez is still on medium, despite the fact they've got an entire country occupied. There you go, flight station. They're gonna fight now. That's my favorite thing to do for. Ooh, every nation them in the Barkhanesh group. I don't really care. So he wants to integrate the kingdom of the Great Carthaginian Empire. Snubbed us yet again. 
Actually, yeah, why not? That sounds cool. Masters of Mauritania. Receiver of subjugation, cast spell on all independent nations under 50 development with the capital of Mauritania or Carthage regions. There aren't any of those. Tafila, Seuss, and... Okay, well. More importantly, we have claims over here. Don't really want to leave Marrakesh on my back, but that's fine. Ah, securing ports. Cool. Let's do that. Rivaling Roma. At least 25, central trade at least 3, and have the Great Coath on a tier uh, 2. Three. How much is it going to cost me? Two thousand? Christ. Okay. Well, I can't afford that. What the hell do you think this place is? Trade efficiency plus twenty percent, though. Christ, it's a great investment. Don't have that kind of money. Naval doctrine. Punic naval. Naval combat. Uh, off of bonus off of your own coast is plus one. Fleet movement speed plus two. Yeah, that's good. But I kind of need the uh, galley combat ability for now. Clover one Yethrib. Isn't that this lot? We need the Clover one Yethrib. Yethrib. Who are these? Yarib. Okay. Cool. Different ones. Um. Okay. I was not expecting there to be Islam here. Okay, well, let's keep those guys down there, I guess. And before anyone says that's racially motivated, I'm Muslim, it's okay for me to say that I... In this specific playthrough, I want the Arabs and Muslims to stay in the desert and not touch my Western civilization. I once got a comment saying that I was going to get cancelled for my views on Muslims. So I was like, what, what do you mean? They're like, yeah, you're so racist towards Arabs. Like, damn. I knew I had a little bit of self-loathing, but who knew? Oh god. Okay, right. I still have the good uh, naval guy. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, that's 53 and 8. I think we need to do this at some point. And it might as well be now. The plan is rush in with 16. Break down the walls. Assault it, pretty much. Okay, we can grab ship durability. Alternatively, we could... How much are we in for Renaissance? 30%. We could go for the next mill tech. I don't think ship durability of 5% is going to help us too much. However, this will. All right, well, let's give it a shot. I forgot that they're part of this whole thing. Okay, a couple of victories already. Nice. Actually, my, my fleet has doubled in size. It's two ticks. That might be too many. Go the safe way around. Why would you not go the safe way around? Yeah, it's 3,000. Yeah, I can't assault that. My only hope is that, yeah, they go somewhere else. Nice. In fact, we could land. Let's put some troops here. Then I can hide my navy if necessary. And to make sure no one lands any troops. They base them into fighting me and destroy them. 433. Nice, we'll take that. My current deity. Again, the tech class is just too good. Shot no one's come marching. Wait, is they don't have military access? <gasps> oh, that's beautiful. That's so good. Okay. In which case, let's just go full navy. Don't land, don't land. Please don't land. Please don't land. Okay, he didn't land. Cool. That's a huge naval battle, which we rinse them in, which is nice. Just circling around, baiting them in with the cogs. Then hit them with the navy. Okay, the cogs are fine. You lot are fine. Let's just get you resting a little bit though. Siege of Jerva is over. I think their plan might be to bankrupt me by giving me ships. Because frankly, this is a, a, a damn sight too many. Right, let's get rid of you. I don't need this many light ships. For now anyway. Yeah, navally we've smashed them. It's a juicy target if anyone wants to go for it. No? Okay. I went for it. <laughs> my, my cog fleet is smashing them. Okay, and we have tech. Do you have tech six? No, I have a bit of an advantage right now. You not in this war? Who is in this war? Just this lot. Okay, cool. And then we can march up north. Ooh, what's this? Punic Navy. Once the scourge of the seas, the formidable navy Carthage has risen anew. It's might restored by its former glory. To its former glory. Nice. An admiral. We get his expertise. I mean, I want an, a, another admiral. Would be cool. Four, 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 two. Hang on, how good's our current? One? Three, four, four. Twenty years of ship durability. Or 50% cheaper naval reformer. Or whatever's an admiral. That'd be cool. All right, let's push onwards. We'll probably get a general before we march in. Now I think about it. Okay, we attack 20k, but we have the discipline and morale advantage and tactics advantage, which isn't bad. The concern is that Roman army, but a lot of them just landed on uh, Sardinia. No idea why, they just did. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Okay, there's nothing I can do about that. Let's see. Maintain balance of power. Expand temple rights. Port Punic festivals. Any war has a 10% chance to give plus one stability. That's just way too cool to, to pass up. All right, there is a, a Roman army here, which I'm a little bit concerned by, but he keeps on retreating, so there's that. She was having to fight this war whilst also maintaining domestic affairs, which is rather tricky. Not impossible, just a little bit tricky. The Navy's done its job, but I've conquered, well, not conquered, but occupied most of southern Italy, but it's just mainly Rome I need to take. Uh, I'm currently blocked off from that. I need to cripple... Rome as well, because when I go up against this lot, I need them to not interfere. Okay, that's a lot of troops. We still do have a tech advantage. Oh, they really don't want to fight me. Okay, that'll be why. They are terrible at fighting. Okay, push now. Push, 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 push. Go, 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 go. Pretty sure my good general just died. No, nope, he's still alive. Okay. Send my heavy ships around to actually help with this siege. 
They have just gone around me, which is a bit annoying. Just hoping that Marika shall deal with these, please. Okay, they shouldn't be able to go back up now, which means I can defend in the hills. They are splitting up now at least, which is nice. Let's go seed run. Which in this time, that means siege run again. I think I've broken them. Okay, we're getting low on manpower, which is a bit concerning. Let's start doing this. Uh, get rid of your alliances. All of them around here. Give me, give me your war reps. Same thing over here. This one I'm just taking. I, I'm, I'm sorry, I need it. Okay, and now let's just push it up. So I didn't I want to have a separate piece with, because uh, I want to fight them later. So, five interest with them sounds good. There we go. Rome has been taken. Charge everyone in there. I need to be paying more attention to the combat sides, to be honest. A bruise them. Where's the bruise them? Oh, that one. Uh, okay. Get rid of all your alliances. Breaking down the uh, the Roman alliance, which is essentially what uh, Hannibal did when he first turned up here, which is really cool. Right, we can start invading on this side now. Ourselves aggressive expansion. We've stripped most of his alliances already. Just need to wait for this to finish because I want to release this nation. We can Romans give me a stepping stone into Italy. There we go. All right, that is Rome dealt with. I could just put the gym. There's not much point, but it's funny. So there's that. And I've got rid of all of his alliances. Popping on with Lucker. Actually, I should probably do Lucker independently. Should have no alliances or operations. Pillage's capital. Give me money. To be fair, I could get him to transfer trade power. That'll do. Rome would come in. Uh, I don't mind fighting Rome again, frankly. I want this land, so I'll do it. That's embarrassing. It's just white piece, you really. There you go. And then in the by the time I've come back to uh, fight Rome again, or, you know, fight Sardinia, I'll have finished off this Rome war. Oh, they're dead. Oh, well. Finally take those provinces. All of that just for two provinces, huh? These are hefty wars just to take a couple of provinces here and there, you know? It's worth it, obviously, but eh, a little bit tricky. I'm going to drop some troops directly into Rome, I think. Oh, cool. Nice. That's that. Siege down. Let's head over there and over there. Naples is a principal of Rome, so that's fine. Theogona, I think I've just occupied. That's good. Malta. Okay, I should probably put some men on Malta. Oh, Jesus. Okay, that was dangerous, but we won. Okay, we've sieged Rome down. Oh, and here's, here's the enemy army. That's nice. Excellent. 277. Three years of a truce with Sardinia. Salerno, Diagona. I mean, I can't fight that right now, unfortunately, but uh, we will. I think I want to take Rome from Rome, just because then I have a, a landing point. So I'll have to take it again. I'll shift his capital as well. Is he co did? No. So how, why is Rome worth so much? Okay, he's not. Cool. Wait, he is if I do it directly? That makes no sense. Why is it double? That, mm, well, I thought it called him in as a co but it doesn't. <laughs> Let's see. 44, 33. Okay, now it works. It's less aggressive expansion if I do it directly. Okay, I just wanted to check that. Issue is I'm only fighting other units. Ended up taking more of his cash because I'm just going to fight him again. Theogona, why don't you get Theogon out of this war? It's another reform. How does he keep losing wars and then just getting more reforms? He's literally failing upwards. Get some government reform progress. There we go. Malta. People would be upset if I took Malta. Yes, they would. Okay. I don't care. I'm taking Empire provinces. I'm actually sick of it. That's fine. Join the coalition. I'm doing what I need to do. Fuck off. Bloody fight in Rome again. Oh, Jesus. Okay, this is kind of feeling Punic War-esque. I keep on winning, but then there's just more of them. They won't give up. Then my admiral's dead. All right, let's drop on Rome again. Punic Menace returns. Oh, God. Italian Federation appears to be a weak and fragmented version of its former self. The defensive pact long established for mutual pro protection to prove ineffective against the might of Carthage, because I've done it over and over again. Cool, okay. So for the next 20 years, we get federal encroachment. I assume because we've taken a certain amount of provinces and then in seven days, we'll get another thing called the Punic Menace Returns. I'm assuming that's, that's on them. No one else cares apart from the Italians. Actually, that's not true. Everyone does because it's Punic. Mm. I just wanted to fight Sardinia, man. This is my fourth war against Rome now. Okay, that's Rome done again. The trade efficiency, which is nice. And there's another war. We've taken uh, Syracuse and we Tarpaconet, which is this Tarpanet. It'll be 15 development. And then what do we get? Permanent claims in Italy. Okay. Just to rest a little bit. But war after war is kind of painful. Who knew? And I want to revoke. So I'll do this. And I'll fight this lot. Yeah, I can't do that. Not right now. So I can't fight Sardinia. The entire point of that war was to fight Sardinia. But whatever. It's okay. We've done our best. Ooh. 25% cheaper until for 10 years. We can do that. That'll save us um, 550 ducats off of the Hothon. I really want to develop. Yeah, we're going to finish off quality ideas. More elephants. Uh, yeah, our next idea has to be um, aristocratic. 
because we, we're gonna hit tier five. And I, again, I really wanna, I really wanna do the whole um, cow, uh, elephant cavalry thing. I think it's, I think it's cool. Seventy-five percent cheaper plus fucking tradition. Yes, please. Costs two ducats a month. Oh my god. Construction cost minus ten percent. Does that stack onto the Kothon? No, unfortunately, it doesn't. Still, we'll take the tech cost. How much do I spend by being over naval force limit? Two ducats is fine. It's worth it. Let's go reform. This one doesn't really matter, which means I'm gonna save it. I'm not gonna use it. Wait, no, I do need to have tier five, don't I? Okay. There are non-punic I can fight because I'm pretty sure everyone's going to immediately join a coalition against me the second I do anything aggressive. Uh, I kind of want to fight Marrakesh. That's Sardinia. Six provinces in Iberia. The capital T. Yeah, Cothorn at least there. Yeah, yeah. Has a level five government reform. Think I have that. So that's confused me. Contrails Queen Kareem ships. Cool. So where are my claims? I think I have claims on Egypt, which is Hellenic. I mean, it's a hefty war to fight. But we could probably do that. Right, aristocratic ideas. And I've spent the money to do the Kothon. People leaving the coalition as I just bring in the troops. God, I love having debates. Summon manpower from nowhere. Sweet, Phoenician trade routes. Let's do that. Currently gain like 500 um, a month in terms of manpower. So it's really not that hard to wait. My cantalism a bunch. Uh, and let's... I mean, screw it. Let's just do it. Everything is in front of us. So let's just push on. Ooh, two siege guys. Cannons on the way. The reason I'm pushing in so early is because he's fighting another war um, against Beja. So I want to sort of claim the space, if that makes sense. Immediately lost our map out. That's okay. We'll get it back soon. Oh, he's got troops here. Both have the same tech. He only has espionage ideas. Though he does have another idea set ready. Well, I mean, the tech cost has really helped us a lot. Minus 10% is a pretty substantial amount. Alexandria's done. I'm going to push my navy into this province over here. Oh, we're about to fight the navy. Siege of who? Croy, eh? Oh, that's where they went. Albania. That makes sense. Very annoying, but it makes sense. I'll help my boy. There you go. Why, why, why did you push into land there? You killed yourself for no reason. He is just sort of standing there. Or at least all of his allies are. Which is fine. This works for me. Gained 5,000 manpower. We get those events. We'll game. It's great. Uh, what just happened? You put in conspiracy. Referring stories in Rome from a deadly attack against the Grand Arim. Okay. Viciously shot by many different attackers. Oh, Christ. Assassination of the Edirin. Who killed him? They demand justice for this atrocity, but who killed him? Pardon those responsible, lose 15 federal authority. Italia will be forced to pay five years. Okay, so it was Italia that did it. Or they must be punished severely to get embargoed. Are they still part of the empire? Yeah, so they're not really like... Huh? Punic League versus the Roman League. That's kind of cool. So Italia, Italia is like the, the actual Romans in this case. And Roma is just... That does nothing to do with Rome. They're just, they're just different. So it's basically a siege race. Cavalry comparability, how much? Plus 20%? Okay, we definitely need to start pivoting into the cavalry side of things. Shazan's really trying their best, but they keep on like summoning troops and getting stacked by everything and leaving. Oh, that's fun. That's really fun. Oh, God. All right, let's send over the cavalry to protect them. Siege of Damascus and the siege of... I was about to say Krak, but it's, it's not. It just isn't that. Smash them. Where are you going? Got to retreat somewhere easy for me to stack right view. I really don't want to be in this war for that long. <laughs> I'm happy just to peace out with uh, with these lands. Yeah, it works, honestly. Thank you. Start a golden era. Why not? War taxes cost. Missions fulfilled. We get lands of Alexander. We set ourselves on the lands once ruled by Alexander, seeking to claim this this storied region with its rich heritage. Grab that. Motherland beckons. Oh yeah, because we need to go back. We need to go back home. Our ancestral home of Phoenicia calls to us, compelling us to extend our reach into these ancient and cultural significant land. I mean, yeah, but that was like what two thousand years ago? More than that? But that's our ancestral homelands. Why would? I mean, yeah, okay, fair. Just saying, chaps, that, that feels like a, a really uh, tentative reason, even for us. Ooh, Library of Alexandria. I suppose it never got burnt by the Christians. It's only 25 and has a shipyard or grand shipyard building. Okay, well, let's just do that immediately. Uh, shipyard, I need tech eight. Okay, <laughs> that's convenient. <laughs> hey guys, I got tech eight. <laughs> What's quarry first, I reckon. Great library. Innovativeness gain, possible advice, nice. Okay, and then this is innovativeness gain plus 50%. So we can stack that quite nicely with our religion. Start debate. Another manpower one where it just gives me a bunch of them. That was quite cool. No, not this time, I'm afraid. Uh, get more monthly autonomy, I suppose. Or, you know, less than monthly autonomy. Italia declared war on Roma religiously. Oh, I want to take a side on that. Well, that's an issue for them. Can I sneak in and take Sardinia in this time? I probably could. Don't get served them. Which is going to give us cavalry combat obviously plus 20%, plus the already existing 15%. So our cavalry is actually really, really good now. So I should probably start doing a bit more with that. Unfortunately, the cavalry's infantry ratio is only uh, still 50. So what I should have done, uh, instead of this, was gone for cavalry warfare. And then I could have done 70% when I did this. That's fine. We learn. 
It doesn't look like Rome's losing this war. It's a shame. Let's spend some money on bringing this forward a little bit. Yeah, in fact, we'll do it again. Ah, screw it. We'll do it again, even though it's inefficient because I wanted the second one. Nice. So now we have trade efficiency plus 15%. Carthage, at least one. Send to trade level three. Okay, we can save up for that. Oh, I think uh, Ming collapsed because we're the number one great power. <laughs> Sweet. Let me provoke these Egyptian separatists because I don't want to be sitting around waiting for them for ages. Rome's actually getting close to not wanting to get involved. I do want to fight this lot. Um, is there a vassal I could spring out of you at all? No. What's the total value of all your provinces? 103%. Wait, we have... I think we have pro we have province war school cost. So I can take that. I'm not intervening in a Saxon war. Oh, that works. The Swebi are attacking Bellica, but they can't take all the provinces. So I'll take one and then reconquest on the Swebi. Because the thing is, I want provinces in Iberia, but I'm governing capacity is really killing me right now. I have the rest of these for trade company, but I've stated this lot. We make about 30 ducats a month. <laughs> Whilst maintaining a full army. All right. Uh, let's go take out Bellica. Or at least, um, you know. Help them out a little bit. And they can sort of stored manpower. God, it's war school from battles. No wonder they're slowly dying either. All right. Nip in and grab this lot. Let's see, is it you or a subject owns? Oh, successes of Hannibal. Nice. Barcine Empire? That sounds cool. Uh, where are you? Into Iberia. You or a subject? Cool. And then I get Restoration Union, Casabella, and Suebi. Okay, that's nice. So I need six provinces. That is just one more against the Suebi. Unless I want to go for like... This lot. One, two, three, four, five. Nah, it makes most sense to go after the, uh, the Suebi. Even though I don't want to make them smaller. Rome is so close to not joining. Again, only 9%. Jesus. So did anyone go colonialism? I didn't, I didn't check that. Surely like you did. Uh, yeah, so we did. Cool. That works nicely. So did Celtica, but they're also behind on every tech imaginable. And also fighting Norway. Even though Norway's less Norway and more, well, um, Sweden. Oh dear. You guys aren't doing too hot. Oh, okay. You barely got feudalism. Uh, you don't have Renaissance either. Christ, I'm glad I'm in Europe. <laughs> Oh, right. Uh, I need to upgrade Carthage. Do that in a sec. Well, after it's all. God, these sieges take it ages. <laughs> Come on! It's just a fort level one. It took 462 days. There's something wrong with that. Uh, that's Punic Vassal. He's actually happy with me. That's the weird thing. All right. Go and upgrade this. Now I can take Reclaim Glory. Let's see. Ooh, it's going to increase it by one. And it gets Carthage rebuilt until the end of the game. On the rise once more for 20 years, giving trade efficiency and light ship combat ability. Awesome. So now that's a level three. Well, that was incredibly valuable. How much do I make from trade? 37. It's gone to 43. Nice. Central Enlightenment University. That's not going to happen for a while. Rivaling Roma. 98 development. And I need to have... Carthage has to have a higher development than Rome. How much does Rome have? 27. So if I upgrade this twice, we should be able to do it. Because, yeah, we'll have the... Yeah, perfect. That gives us even more. Subservient Roma until the end of the game, giving us monthly splendor. And with global prosperity clothed. As we grow in might and stature, I mean, it's clear. It's rivals past past the power influence of Rome. Why did, was Rome ever bigger than us? How big is this war? Oh my god! <laughs> okay, let's get in a cheeky war against the Suebi first. I don't imagine that war's gonna end anytime soon. So we some troops there. And we go straight for Marrakesh. Yeah, I don't take kindly to people trying to blockade me. Thank you very much. I now have five heavy ships, and I don't know how. I assume I captured them, but that's ridiculous. Uh, what are tre Actually, let's stick 30k on the front lines and then just use the navy defensively for now. I don't like the idea of my... Oh god, I'm not spending that much. Uh, I don't like the idea of my... Uh, prosperity going down. All right, that was the Marrakeshians done quite easily. And let's push into Swerby. So Kiln, Seuss. Oh, Seuss is in this war. Um, I'm just going to ignore them. So we need six provinces. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's five. And then we'll take one more on top of that. And that should give me Iberia, right? Into Iber. Restoration Union for 20 years. We weigh out the truce and we move on. Wait, hang on. It has to be in these areas. So one, two, three, four, five. Let's see, what do I get? One, two, three, four, five. Yep, perfect. That'll do it. It's nice we don't have to fight wars until, you know, the death of that nation, Rome. Well, I had to fight four times in a row. Who's blockading me? Uh, all right. Wait, are you trying to land troops in Carthage? That's It's bold. Oh my god, you, landed, you actually landed troops. I should not have let that happen. It's fine, I'll get some troops now. All right, so that's goods produced. Let's go kill these troops. Don't attack my guys. Don't do it. Keep them on two fronts at the same time. It's never easy. I've been here. Take out this navy. Couldn't reach them. Let's go back. War's still going on. I'm actually losing where the Romans are, despite everything. I'm trying to help you. Please don't make this harder than it is. Oh, why? Just put her on your side. There we go. Let's just take him out now. There we go. Nice. Yeah, that Roman war is also really starting to contribute. Our innovativeness is 54, which is very, very good because it's minus 5% uh, all power costs. I know guys are invading Sicily. I, I'm just focusing on these areas now. All right. Oh, it's Seuss with a three-star general. Okay, that's okay. We're fine. We just really need, like, these two provinces, and then we're good. Sometimes in E4, I get, like, so 
into it that I can't remember what, like, I get into the rabbit hole that I can't remember what I was doing. Oh, yeah, that's it. A deity. I was trying to see what I know this was to see if it's worth switching over. Uh, frankly, we're doing so well on the on this front that I'm I'm really happy with just doing more tech cost. Then head of the curve, that sort of thing. Nice, that's one down. Okay, I can't return the cores unless I'm in control of the province. It's very irritating because it means I have to kill the friendly rebels. Like, I'm trying to help them. This shouldn't be called Gibraltar. Um, as far as I'm aware, maybe I'm wrong, but uh, the etymology of Gibraltar comes from Jabal Tariq, who was a, um, uh, a, a Muslim general that took the rock. Uh, he actually had a really badass line where um, his troops didn't want to fight the enemy because they were outnumbered. Um, most Muslim armies were at that point. Uh, but yeah, they didn't want to fight because, you know, they didn't want to die. Uh, and his response was to burn the ships and say, uh, you've got the sea behind you and the enemy in front, choose how you want to die. Which, like, goes one of two ways. Either, like, everyone's like, well, I guess we have to fight, or they go, we're gonna go kill this guy now. So I guess fortunately for him, and, well, unfortunately for, um, <laughs> the Visigoths. Was it the Visigoths then? I think it was the Visigoths. Um, yeah, it definitely was. Uh, they didn't do that. Uh, this should one, two, three, four, five, six. This should do me. Restoration Union Casabelli. We can reclaim Iberia. Portuba, I need to hand off to my vassal. Curry infantry ratio plus 2% is actually good for us right now. Let's do this, get them over the 50%, revoke it, and we'll get a training fields here to appease them. There's a barracks. Okay, uh, now I want to do that Sardon. Sure, I need to revive Lilibeum. So this needs to have uh, development 15. I can do like this. Should have done that a while ago. Shipyard gets upgraded to Grand Shipyard. So let's build one of those. That's a dock. It's worth another like 100 ducats plus other stuff. Get Sardinia. And what happens after that? Mediterranean dominance. Corsica, Sardinia, Malta. Weirdly enough, Rome's actually losing this war despite occupying Italy. So tech cost means this costs 296 ducats. Oh, sorry, mil power. That's ridiculous. Yeah, Rome would not get involved. Let's take advantage of this. Declare a couple of wars. Oh, they peaced out. Religious peace happened. Okay. <laughs> Damn, I'm glad I declared war what I did then. How many ships am I allowed? Okay. A decent amount. Definitely over, but that's fine. I need to come up with a bunch more. Offense, there's ability, we gain some siege ability. Honestly, I, I'll take that. So if I were to fight Malta now, they still wouldn't come in. Okay. I mean, I, I kind of need to do that. And yeah, that's that done. So Revival of the Bayum is done. That gives me claims on Southern Italy. Doesn't give me claim the weird thing is it doesn't give me claims on uh Corsica. Despite the fact that I need Oh no, this probably will. Yeah, my bad. Okay. My apologies. The the mod is uh ahead of me. Okay, who else should I fight? So I need Sardinia, Corsica, Clinium. So I need this region here. That sucks. Because I probably should have coverage. I couldn't have coverage and I had a truce. Uh that's fine. I'll wipe pieces, guys. You know, when I can. Lose that land there. Oh, that's convenient. What I'll do is I'll wait for them to land. I'm not sure how I dodged them because, you know, that's weird. But they arrive on the 4th and then I'll fight the Navy. <laughs> I'd, I'd be living if I were them. i have the Navy sneak past. So I can develop this up to 25. That should give me another thing here. Library of Alexandria. Ah, oh, I changed the library by one. I'd have, I'd have increased a little bit. Local ship repair plus 50%. Nice. Italy has the pence war. I imagine the entirety of Italy has, has issues. All right, let's just get rid of your alliances and go along with our day. It's a coalition, but that's fine. Still have another debate. I like. I still like the reform progress growth, although it's guilt. Now nah, we can. Yeah, reform progress. I like it. Get these through. If I click this now, and I just get shipyard. Oh, now nah, let's build shipyards everywhere first. So we got to core it first. Makes sense. Got to think like a Carthaginian. What's economical? I'm not going to give the land back. This province is so annoying to take. This is when I wish there was like a dismantle fort um, thing. I am in your homeland. Protect it. Oh, bloody hell. He's gotten there, hasn't he? Oh, that's frustrating. Oh, well. So your troops are dead. Surely you want to peace out. Take Walter. Another government reform. Seize the executive power. No. Attorney general. No, because I want to be able to seize crown land supremacy of the diet. That's actually really good because it no longer increases influence. That's great. And state loyalty is permanently increased by 10. Status of Corfu. You mean my Corfu? Corfu will no longer be part of the Italian Empire. Offer Carthage Memphis. <laughs> yeah, please. Bring me in, boys. <laughs> Bring me into the Italian Federation. It'd be funny. Or direct the. Yeah, no, they're not fighting me, I think. Oh, that's, that's very funny. Linux Zealots, where? Over here. Okay, that's fine. Let's go fight them. I like the fact that my navy can actually pick up my entire army, which means I can just send 30,000 troops around the Mediterranean whenever I want. Oh, Punic Admiralty. Six base sacks. All base production, all base manpower, and I get Queen Kareem government reform. Where's that? 
He's up here. Where's the Queen Kareem? Queen Kareem heavy ships. Ship durability plus 10%. They're more expensive, but they're better. Cool. And we get the government form. Where is that? Is it later on? Ah, Queen Kareem shipyards. It's over here at number seven, which gives us sailor recovery speed and Queen Kareem force limit. Nice. It's just there if we need it. Nothing too crazy, but a decent amount. All right, Sardinian separatists. We could just trigger those. Oh my God, a 3-5. And he's got a couple of other pips to boot. Why is Crete getting rowdy? What did I do to you? Are you still... Oh my God, Rome will still not come in. Um... Okay, they will come in on this one. But yeah, anywhere Rome won't come in, we, yeah, we're gonna do it. Okay, he won't come in against Salerno, because they're rivals, I assume. When's our truce against Suevi? Oh, two. Okay, and I need another 150 development um, so I can become an empire. Okay, we'll fight Salerno and just take their stuff. Coalitions are sort of the aim at this point. Declare the war. Drop him in directly onto Salerno. Another one in terms of aristocratic ideas. We basically just need one more. That we can get our elephants. Oh, Christ, we so much money. Um, very library could be upgraded. Sure. Someone spending money on, right? Yes, new city. Detect nine. What's our innovativeness? 66. Hey, can I have access? You'll give me access because you're scared of me. Thank you. Who else we find? Siena and Mosia. Let's go to those two immediately. Let's assume we'll win these fights. Yeah, we do. Ah, might as well finish them off. Siena's done. Watch back down here. Again, all these guys that I'm fighting will not be in a coalition against me because obviously the truce, which is very useful. Get them out of here. This is a great campaign I'm having here. This is a lot of fun. The start was very tricky, but the thing is, um, handling snowballing is very hard in E4. Like, how do you keep someone interested when they whilst they keep on like winning? Um, and when you have guys like Gaul and Macedonia here, that will keep me in check. Uh, so I can't just sort of steamroll. It's it's a lot of fun. And the fights and fighting, they, they are tricky. Like, if I were to declare war on like Rome itself, that's not an easy fight, um, as we sort of demonstrated before. I'm just making sure that Rome's alliances aren't secure. There we go. Tally's finally got rid of the Peasants' War. They had that right at the start, I remember. Little shipyards all over here. We're joining military coalitions now. Uh, do I smash and grab to get Mediterranean dominance? Uh, no, I can't. Now there's a coalition. Okay, it's only 50 development. Because for right now, this is going to sting. If I can get 50 development, probably off of you. The entirety of the Punic world are coming after me. I don't understand what I'm trying to do for him. Let's go ahead and reestablish Sardon. Which is going to give us shipyards or grand shipyards all over the place here. It's a tech cost. The guy is a conqueror, which is always nice. Loneliness has been born and we get ourselves this, which is good. Because I need to get a bunch of cavalry now together. All right, here we go. At least 30,000 cavalry. There. So now we get war elephants, which is shock damage plus 10%. We get war elephants and we have a plus 10% for our force limit. As well as cavalry shock plus one. Grab that. With 60 artillery, we get cavalry fire at plus one for the end of the game as well. Three from the front, 40,000. Our land force level 250. Oh my god. I don't know if we'll be... Max general fire plus one, was that? Wait, we have four units of war weapons? We're going to have an 80% uh, thing here. But that's not going to last forever. That's just until the end of this uh, age. So, we'll probably get more infantry there. Come with is 24. And we have, like, how many thousands of troops? 90,000. So, I mean, I reckon just two clean stacks. Well, no, we need three stacks, don't we, Lathe? Come on. Where's my navy? Counter proclamation of Athens. Huh. Cool. Resist the temptation of cultural fusion and false teachings. <laughs> you mean like us? 1502 September. Okay. Let's go ready for that. So, where did Colosseum spawn? Ah, that's a shame. I was hoping Swerby would take some. Four siege general. Sounds good to me. I am going to use him to put down rebels, but you know, it's fine. Let's see. 23.8. That pushes straight towards Carthage. That is a duck at worst. Trade is would be fantastic. All right, let's do them in. Restoration of Union. Off we pop. Just use the Navy to get there a little bit quicker. So who are we fighting? Same guys as last time, it looks like. I can't wait to get into a fight with this lot. This is going to be great. Oh, great. Peasants there and there. Oh, I don't have a fort. Um, well, we'll get rid of this one first. Please win that. Thank you. Now, get on this ship. Deal with a couple of things. Peasants first. This lot. Actually, it's probably better to do with this guy's first. Let him put more men into there. Marrakesh, mate. You don't want to peace out. Okay. I'll send another army your way in a sec. All right. We'll get a fight on our hands. Oh, I missed the actual fight. Damn it. Here we go. See what our guys can do. Jesus Christ. The main thing to note is we only lost 968 troops. It's great because this lot are all about minimizing the losses. Uh, just going to straight peace you out. Probably could have peace you out for, you know, actual stuff, but I don't want to. I forgot to deal with the other rebels. That's my bad. All right. So we actually fight an army this time. Yeah, just... We'd lose so few troops. It's stupid. 
Which is good, because our manpower, like, I mean, it's decent, but we do have 90,000 troops, so kind of needs to be tipped up. Let's get this war done within the next 67 months to take advantage of the whole lack of aggressive expansion thing. I might have to be a bit more aggressive than I'm being. All right, Sue's done. All right, so that is a cheaper uh, mystery strike, the guy. Rules and answers, then new rival. Punicum, I think I could just piece you out. Yeah, that's it. It's done. Union with Suebi. That's a coalition. There we go. We formed ourselves a little union. If we go a couple more provinces, we'll grab ourselves Gallic Wars Castles Belli to anyone against anyone in the Gaul region. Motherland is beckoning, but this is where we're going to leave it for today. I'd be more than happy uh, to continue this. Uh, I reckon uh, I'm going to be streaming this. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. Uh, if you want to grab uh, the mod, it will be available upon the day that this uh, is released, I believe. I've got the times right. If not, uh, Chewie's going to yell at me. So to stop him yelling at me, please make sure to go check out uh, Chewbert, uh, the channel, or Chewie Shoot if you're into more long form stuff. Uh, it's great stuff and you should definitely go check it out. So yeah, chaps. Otherwise, make sure to like this video and subscribe to me as well. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Huge shout out to my patrons. Most importantly, Redguard76, Lewis Wright, Ryan B, Atreides, Blenderman, Krilly, Ghostwolf, JDAL52, Xiaomi, Luke, Matthew McHugh, Mike473, Mikey Lewis, Original, Shadow Singer, and Tom. This support means a lot, guys. Also here, why not watch another video? I mean, it's it's right there. Just just click.